Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to more Game Dev Tycoon. We we should develop either researching some new topics. Okay. Um, what are the other things we can research? Yeah, these Game these programs. will have to develop a new engine for. Right. Right. The last engine we developed cost us 90k. Mm. So probably gonna have to just make some games for a little while first. Okay, okay let's go into topics. Also, it cost 40 grand to, to research these. Hmm. Okay. All right. Um, those are the keys. I think comedy. I want to make a comedy game right. eventually. Just might cause. be might be a good casual game once we develop the ability to make casual games. Yes. Oh. According to Murphy's a recently published game, Titan Nova, a surprise hit with players. Yeah, the developer Delta Hard is fairly new to the gaming industry, but we cannot wait for what they will develop next. Yeah, oh, they want our stuff. They love us. They do love us. They really do. Ooh. Alright. Sale shop a little bit. We got more things. You have successfully researched a new topic. That's funny. Let's make a game. Oh, um, okay. Let's see what else. What, well, what, ooh, pirate yes, opened up. Yes, obviously. <laughs> So it's good to check what new option you got That's out of true. out of researching the new topic. That's true. Because sometimes uh, you'll find something that you really like. We're getting pretty good sales. Yeah, twenty-one thousand sales. Mm -hmm. Researched pirate and what's what what new thing? School. <laughs> Perfect. All right. All right. Uh, so let's take a look. Let's just check out our game history. Mm. So we had uh, we had Noah. They did it did well. School that was an action high. game adventure. Four. RPG, yeah. So we could probably do a simulation game. Would be would be the good, the optimal next choice. Do we not have a simulation game? Not yet. We've only made four games. I thought, uh, oh. We've only made four games. Oh, yeah. I wish it was a strategy. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, let's do a sim. All right. Well, we're picking the hammer. Of course. And, uh... Uh, should we do... No, again, we still don't have a... We no. still don't have a lot of cash for the... Yeah, yeah. for a simulation, that would work very so, simulation. Sim. Pick our topic. Okay. Uh, pirate simulator. No. Yeah. Well. Alternate history, maybe? Yeah, we haven't used that yet. An alternate history simulator? Yeah, do it. All right. Yeah. And we'll, we'll name it, um... <clears throat> hmm. Um... Uh... How about... Uh... Alternia. Alternia? All right. <laughs> Alternia. That's a reference I'm not sure how many people will get. I sure don't. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Oh, yeah, good. Okay. Oh, yeah, levels. Oh, yeah, linear story. Oh, for a simulation. Yes. Yeah. We well, sim a we simulation turn off game. Linear story? Yeah. Would that make it better? Usually, uh, all, all the little details help get you more development points. Of course, we want those development We points. do! Okay, simulation, so engine's full, yep. gameplay, three quarters, yep. and story quest, that's, that's probably good. Alright. Tino is now off the market, sold 21,000 units, made us 150 grand! Nice. Alright. Oh yeah, look at that. Go little, bl go little balls! Go, go! <laughs> go balls, go! Alright. Okay, simulation. Uh, well, it, dialogues got to be at least half. All right. Just you know, historical accuracy uh -huh. or alternate alternative store historical accuracy. You you to find be more you find you find the dialogue in sim games is very important to you. Depends what kind of sim game. I guess. Um, today in today's world, they, if it's a simulation, artificial intelligence definitely has to be full. Yeah. Level design could probably go down a bit. And then, yeah. yeah, in fact, turn dialogue sound a quarter. All right. Yeah, that sounds good. So we want all the AI. Yeah, you definitely want a lot of AI. The uh. the titillating ecstasy system, home mm -hmm. console by Ninventil, has proven to be a massive success. Sales numbers have exceeded expectations so far. We need to make a game for those next. Again, That's when we get like the like money. A, like a platformer. Yeah. Uh, as one customer says, I love the games that come with the TES, and playing with a controller is so much more fun than on a keyboard. Lies! Lies. We're playing this on a keyboard, it's a lot of fun. It's mostly mouse, but... Yeah. Okay, so it's a simulation. Right. Uh, graphics are gonna be... full. Look. World design... Oh. Uh, that's, uh... 
That's a decision right there. Yeah. Oh man. Okay. Um. Put graphics down just a smidgen. Alright. I think that'll be good. Okay. Did you make a good choice, or did you make a terrible choice? A terrible choice, of course. Alright. You know, your instincts have been pretty spot on. Yeah. Well, I do know The only question is, games. I'm trying to think to myself, what is really the difference between an action game and an adventure game? Well, an action game is more pew-pew, while an adventure game is more... Huh-huh. I mean, is Contra... <laughs> okay. An adventure game an or action. an action game? It's an action game. Because it's like, it's got all that platforming. Yeah. And that's usually an adventure thing to me. It's very fast-paced and action-heavy. Anyway, we got we got the 2D graphics card up. Okay. We've got more experience with nice. that. Yeah, because we have our engine. Here we go. First reviews. Oh, uh, this is pretty everywhere. Oh, isn't it? We're getting some pretty solid sevens. Enjoyable. The Ford Gamer seems to think our games are enjoyable. He does. I've... Oh. Beautiful. Oh. Oh, just beautiful. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah! One of the best from all games! Yeah, that guy knows about all the games. All of them. Every including ours. Alright, well, let's. Especially ours. We better we better find out what we did there. We do. We, yeah. Look at our sales. Look at the mash. Cash go up. Right, so we could totally make sequels, too. You have to research the ability to make sequels. Oh, what? Yeah. There's no okay combination. Alright. Right. right. They'll okay. die. Quite important. Of course. Yeah. And. PC simulation, good combo. Mm -hmm. All right, that's good. Looking a long All right, way. Look at that. We got to 18. Oh, we are moving up in the world. Okay, what? Uh, let's see. And you can find contract any work too. Right? Contract work makes like a lot of money. Not really. No, what's the point of contract work? No, no, it's just a, it's just an option because it doesn't cost you anything, right? So basically, right. you just spend time right. building up some points, and then if you make it, they give you some money. Oh, okay, so that's what you can do to just get some experience now. No, just get just money. Just money. Yeah, well, that is awful. And that you have to and you have to get two points of design and nine points of technology to get paid thirteen k. If you don't, you have to pay them three k for failing your contract. What? Yes. Interesting. That's cool. Okay. So, do we want to research some new topics? Okay, well, we gotta make a game for the titular ecstasy system. Do we? For the titillating experience. Sexy. Alright, uh, well, we gotta pick a genre. Mmm, we don't have platforming yet. You don't get platforming. Oh, right. There's these five, and then, then one more, which is casual. Okay, so it's the early, uh, test. So, let's do an action. Yeah. The only thing, though, is we want to. You, you, we still want to check hmm. uh, our game history. So, because we, we we did we did an action game very recently. very recently. What was the first one we did? Strategy. Uh, six months ago, we came out with a with a action game. So, hmm. probably on that. our first game was Metamorph, which was an evolution strategy game. Right. So it's... doing a doing a strategy game. Let's do or, an RPG. Yeah, or an RPG would probably um, work out well. Yeah, do it. All right. Brother. Develop a new game. Genre. RPG? Yes. For the... We're using the hammer engine. For the... the you want to use the, the yeah. test? Or do you want to stick to the PC? No, no, no. We got to We got to solidify test. our All right. um, position. We bought we've, we've bought the license. We can yes. use it. Oh, man. Okay. So. Oh, we did man. a fantasy RPG last time. Aliens. Alien RPG? It's like a sci-fi thing. Yeah. Will that count as sci-fi? Sci-fi is its own thing, but I think this still works. It does. Like a... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, well, that's what, like... Um... Oh, what's that game? That has Ness in it? Earthbound? Yeah, that's what, that's what Earthbound kind of is. I guess, yeah. Okay. We so, got a... Speaking of that, we'll call it, um... Moonbound? Ganymede. Ganymede? Ganymede. Bound. That's how you spell it. For sure. Ganymede bound. <laughs> All one word. I love it. All right. Yeah, the 2D graphics. Version 2. What? Version 2. Oh, man. We just spent money. Yep. Uh, okay, so it's an RPG. Yep. So we that's know. That's story quest to the full. Yep, that's what we know. And it's got a linear story now. 
Um, and a save game feature, so you don't have to beat it all in one go. Nice. We are making it. All right, what else do we need? Okay. Oh, let's turn down the engine to like half. Okay. Gameplay? gameplay. I think that's a good place for gameplay. All right. Moving on. Moving on up. Do, 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 oh, we do. still have bad sound. Everybody has bad sound. Uh, some people have mono sound. Right. Well, <laughs> back to our narrative here. Okay, well, dialogue's got to be pretty good, right? Yeah. yeah. He's got to have like an epic speech against the villain, being all like, you're mm. ugly. And he's level... like, nah. -uh. He's like, yeah. yeah, huh? <laughs> uh, level design has to be pretty good. All right. And then AI isn't very important, right? It's yeah. figured out. Yeah. Beauty. Beauty. I love it. Yeah, it's coming along. Recent studies suggest that the increasing variety of gaming devices also creates a market for more specialized games. Oh. Some platforms become more popular with younger gamers, while other, others cater to the more mature age groups. It's true. This is very true. As more and more developers enter the market, we expect developers to focus their games on specific age groups to really make an impact. Uh, it's true. Whoa, new research available. Target audience. Yeah, after this, we, able to, we can make, once we reach that, we can focus our games at young audiences, everyone, or mature audiences. Oh my god. I know. This is... Alright, see? Because of our previous studies, it tells us that world design is very important to this game. Of course. So, so obviously we want that really, really high. Really, really high. We want, yeah, it's lots of time allocation <coughs> spent on Turn the graphics down to half. Bam. See, uh, gave us more of that. Mm, and then I, I think I like that. All right. Oh, yeah. This will give us an even better RPG and than our last one. Yeah. Attorney is now off market, so... Well, it's good. It did, it did good. That's, yeah, that's, that's a solid game. sales, yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Don't, don't send that out yeah. with bugs. Well... That would be awkward. Whoa! New records. Well, we didn't get much XP for that. We're breaking records! <laughs> breaking uh -huh. records! Oh. We're going to the hobby shop, we're buying some old records, and we're breaking them. Alright, release the game. <laughs> Following the massive success of the TES console, there are now rumors that Vina, another Japanese company, is planning to release a home game console of their own. Vina. The Vina. Right. Right. <laughs> First reviews of Ganym Ganymede Bound. Nice. Huh? 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 Oh, Very enjoyable. Yes, yes, good, good. Oh, man. Oh. I, want, I want a 10. Before we end this <sighs> game, their focus on story quest served well. Alright. Love it. 898. Eight. This might be our best game yet. Oh, it will be. Beautiful. Yeah. I think this is our best game yet. Yeah, it is. It's a solid 8. Yeah. In fact, that is an 8. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let's <clears throat> let's find out what we did right with that game. Do, 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 do. Oh, man. Go, go, sales, go! What's your favorite uh, NES RPG? Final Fantasy. Which the first one? I think that was the only one on the uh, uh, NES. Mm, no, because no four. Well, oh, that came out over here. Um, four, which was R two, was on the SNES. Right. So aliens and RPG, great combo. So yeah. quest, very important. Platforming match, okay. Yeah, 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 that was good. All right. Yeah. Now. Oh, we're ranked 12. Oh, yeah. man. Let's research target audiences. Is that really important? Yes. Okay, that makes sense. It gives us more things to learn about. We'll be all like, oh, alien uh, games do better with, with the everyone crowd instead of the mature crowd. Yeah. When are we, um, when are we moving out of our we need mother's basement? We need 500 grand, I believe. Oh, wow, okay. The latest game by Delta Hard has received very positive reviews overall. Yeah. Informier gives it a 9, saying their focus on Sora has received this game very well. Delta Hard continues to innovate like this. They might become a new fan favorite. Yeah. I'm this, happy. This is sweet. Yeah. Oh, man. We're doing very good. Oh, we're so good at this game. You successfully researched target audience. See? Now we're going to develop... Uh, what do we... See? Yeah. It's a young, everyone, mature games. Let's make a mature comedy game. Mature comedy for the, game for the PC. You think that's gonna work out well? All right. Yes. <laughs> it's gonna be a, an adventure comedy, uh, and it's it's gonna be titled um, Birthday Suit Barry. <laughs> Barry. <laughs> it's Barry. Do Barry with like a U, like Barry. All right. Birthday suit and like do B U instead of B I. I'm just gonna leave it like this. Oh come on. <laughs> okay. Oh, platform. Oh PC. no, definitely PC. Yeah. Yes, we want them. 
those fancy graphics. Oh, yeah. Oh, here we Today, are. Today, Venus confirmed recent rumors about the new gaming console and announced the Master V. <laughs> Look at that Master V. <laughs> that is a... Oh, boy. It's, it's the Atari. It's, it's the company master. claims that the Master V is technically superior to the massively successful TS by Nintendo. Plans to release it in the coming months. Whoa. Interesting. Yeah. Alright. Story quests. Uh... Yes. Alright. <laughs> We're never gonna get out of the basement now! Oh, God! Oh, this game's gonna be awful. I can just feel it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so... See, artificial intelligence and level design both not important to the adventure game. Not important at all. Okay. Not apparently. Artificial should be like a sliver. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah, level design, put that down to like half. There you go. Maybe a little bit more. Oh, whatever. Oh, yeah. That, that, that part might, that dialogue might save it. I hope it does. <laughs> Graphics, full. Bam. Sound, two thirds. Bam. World design, two thirds. Bam. Love it. All right. Uh, ooh, Ganymede sales company sale record. Whoa. Over fifty thousand units sold. Breaking records. Yeah, an important milestone in the in the company of Delta yeah. Hard. Hi, I'm Steve McConnell, reporter for Planet GG. We've heard a rumor that your company is developing a game for mature audiences. Would you be willing to give an interview with us? Do it. Do of it. Of course, we're gonna give it. Any interview. press is good press. Yeah. Great. Thank you for your Thank time. You. Uh, we will publish the interview next week. That was a great interview. Yeah, I <laughs> feel confident. It, yeah, there's not a huge thing you have to do for it. Here we are. Planet GG has recently published an interview with Delta Hard. Yes. According to the interview, the company is working on its first game targeted at mature sure. players. Hmm. Moto Jojo, owner and CEO of Delta Hard. Well, by default, being one person, we are all of those things in one. Indeed. We think that players are looking for a more mature content, content in games, game. and we are mm. willing to take a great risk to give it to them. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, many so, industry experts say that sooner or later, with games with mature themes will become more common. Yeah. We're curious to see how the market react to these games. They'll react very well. Hype! Hype! Yeah, we got hype. The hype train is rolling. Yeah. All aboard! We got a little bit of hype. <laughs> Woo! <coughs> oh. Oh, new records. Yep. Wow. New design records. We're good at this game about creating video games. I know, it's like we could do it too. Oh, we could. Alright, let's, let's, we'll find out how we did with this game and then we'll take another break. Alright, and we almost have... First review. Oh, Birthday man. Suit Barry. Birthday Suit Barry. Oh, man. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Oh, outstanding. Outstanding. I wonder if that's because, like, this is the first mature game out there. Master a masterpiece. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, okay. And it's a comedy. Wow. Beauty. Yeah. Wow. That is, I guess that's, is that's our all best good, game ever. I guess that's all a good combo. Comedy, mature, and adventure. Alright, let, let's find out what we did What we did right there. Everything. Uh, we'll, we'll find out next time, the start of the episode. Stay tuned.